everybody, I'm Natalia Bonner, back with a fun little machine quilting video. Okay, so this fun video that I'm going to be sharing with you today, if you've been following along with me over the past year, for 365 days, I have been machine quilting a block a day on these panels, all of these ones behind me, and sharing those video tutorials here on YouTube. So today I'm going to be sharing a few of those blocks. I'm using the foundations from the blocks that I've shown you, and I'm going to be showing you how to dress those up just a little bit. So fun little video that just hopefully brightens your day and gives you just a little bit of inspiration. Before we jump to the video though, I do want to let you know that I have a brand new book that's now available for pre-order. It's called Let's Stitch 365 Quilt Blocks with Machine Quilting Rulers. So this book is a companion to this stitch along. It has 365 designs full color with these awesome QR codes. So you can just scan that little code and pull up the videos to quilt out those designs. So excited. You can pick that up or pre-order it over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. But in the meantime, let's get stitching. This first design that I'm going to be stitching out is a fun variation of design number 35, the simple flower. So originally when I stitched out this design, the simple flower, I stitched out on a circle quilt block. Even though I quilted it on a circle originally, it definitely can be quilted on a square as well. So something I really hope that you can see or at least be a little bit inspired about with this machine quilting journey, stitch along, whatever you want to call it that I've shared with you, is that just because I stitch something in a square does not mean it has to stay just in a square. Like I'm doing here, stitch it out in a circle or vice versa. These designs really can be used in many different shapes. With this design, like I said, on number 35, I do have this step-by-step -step tutorial that you can check out get all the measurements and all the exact info to stitch out this design. Here what I wanted to show you is obviously stitching it out on a square, but then once I stitch it out, I'm going to dress it up a little bit more. When I say dress it up, let's add a filler to the outside of this design. I am going to add the swirl background filler to this design. Now this is a design that I do teach you step-by-step -step how to quilt in my book, Beginner's Guide to Free Motion Quilting. To stitch out this design though, something that I'm always thinking about is leaving myself an out. That's one little trip, trick or tip that I have found to be really helpful. If I'm always thinking ahead, thinking about leaving myself an out when I'm stitching those swirls, I can generally end up with a pretty good result. Another thing to your machine quilting is always keep it consistent. So I don't want to have some swirls that are huge and filling the whole entire area while most of them are small. If they're mostly going to be small, I'm going to stitch most of them pretty small.
The next design that I'm going to be sharing is a fun variation of design number 186, the fan. We do have a link below where you can click on and check out the full step-by-step -step tutorial to stitch out this design. So to dress the design up just a little bit, obviously like with all of the other designs, I'm going to start out by stitching out the foundation. You will see as I'm stitching out the foundation of this design, I work back and forth with my 4-in-1 and my inside out machine quilting ruler. I highly recommend both rulers. Yes, you can stitch out most of these designs with one of these rulers, but the more ruler work you do, the more you'll realize it's definitely helpful to have a couple of rulers. Once I've stitched out the foundation of this design, then I'm going to add a little fill to it. I love heavy quilting, so fills make me happy. The fill that I'm stitching out here is a version of the clam background filler that I do teach you step by step how to quilt in my book and online class, Beginner's Guide to Free Motion Quilting. With this design, it's a really fun, playful design, very forgiving. It's actually a great beginner background filler. The reason I say it's a great background beginner filler is because it is so forgiving. As long as you alternate the direction of those clams and don't make them look like they're running in rows, they create a great filler. And there's really no rhyme or reason to them. Sometimes they have two or three echoes, sometimes they might only have one. The next design that I'm going to be stitching out here on a six inch square quilt block is a variation of block number 181, the butterfly. So the butterfly block was really, really cute. Actually, I love this block. Quilted out just the foundation, but it's so cool to see how you can really dress up this design and add so much to it. So 
I'll let you watch along and hopefully find a little bit of inspiration. You will see here that I am going to add pebbles to this design. Pebbles, again, is one of those fillers that I do teach you step by step how to quilt in my book, Beginner's Guide to Free Motion Quilting. But a couple of tips I'll give you when you're stitching out this design, the pebble design, I'm always just trying to think kind of inconsistently. I don't want all my pebbles to be exactly the same size. I like alternating the size. I feel like overall I end up with a better result than trying to keep everything so uniform. And one more block design for today. So this block design, I'm actually marking out and going to create a nine patch on my square quilt block. So maybe you're thinking to yourself, where would I ever quilt this? Even though I'm quilting it here on a solid block, obviously you could quilt it on an actual nine patch block. Or if you have like a negative open area on a block, a setting block, something like that. A lot of these blocks would be really great quilted on those types of blocks. It would really give a lot of definition and character to those types of places. But the sky's really the limit when it comes to using these. I hope that you can really use these designs on your own quilts. With this design, the original version, I had used the machine quilting ruler to fill in every other one of these blocks with a fun back and forth matchstick quilting. I love the look of matchstick quilting but it doesn't mean it's the only motif you can use to fill in and dress up your designs. So I'm going to stitch in this one. Similar to that one, I'm going to stitch a heavy filler in every other block. But this time I'm going to go back to that swirl filler. The swirl is another one of my favorite designs. Like I mentioned a little earlier, when I'm stitching this design out, a big thing I'm trying to think about is leaving myself an out. So start in one block and then I'll just simply jump over to the next block using the ditch if I need to as a place to travel from one block to the next. I hope you are all able to find a little bit of inspiration from these machine quilting videos. 
make sure you do check out our brand new book that's a companion to this stitch along. We've got links below. The book is now available for purchase over on our website, peaceandquilt.com.